Hey, Collins. Uh, yeah, so I'm really sorry it took me so long. I got swamped here at work, and I've been looking to, to help you out the best I can. But what you've got here, I'm looking at these symbols. This one right here, this circle plus, was a little bit unfamiliar to me, so I had to look up that. I usually used it in uh, group theory and algebra, so that was a little bit different. This primed is going to mean complement or everything not in there. And then these intersections and union and takeaway, um, uh, let's go through a few of these. So um, I've prepared a little thing here just to make sure we understand and are on the same page with uh, some of these symbols. So if you just have A, you'll notice that all of A you have a total of 404. So that's what A would have. If you have A intersecting with, say, F, these are taking all the ones that are in A here and F here. So all of these guys, A and F at the same time, and that puts it right there. That's what that intersection means, is the intersection of those two. And so you get 79. If I had A union F, this is a little bit different because you've got all of these, 25, 79, and 300, plus the 79, 514, and 39 that are in F. So you've got 632 here, plus 25 and 300. So you may see some different formulas. So we really have, let me see if I can get them. A union F would be 25 and 79 and 300, which is 404. And then you would also have the 79, but we already counted it, plus 514 plus 39. So you could do 25 plus 79 plus 300 plus, we already did the 79, so 514 plus 39 and then have it equal there, well you could do a shortcut. If you took all of F and all of A, 632 plus 404, and you just realize that you had, um, that you had counted this 79 twice, you could subtract one of the 79s and get these two come out to be exactly the same answer, which is kind of cool. So this, you would have all of A, plus all of F minus the A intersection F. And that is um, the number in A union F would be the number in A plus that. So that's where they actually get the formula that you are kind of, that I saw kind of on your papers that you were looking at. So you can do it like that. Or if you've got the paper, just go ahead and add up all the numbers and it'll be the same thing as using the formula. Okay, so that's the intersection and union. Now, if you have the circle plus, this is what I understand it to mean, circle plus F is saying that you're going to take all of A and all of F, but you're going to exclude, cancel out that 79 completely, which is almost the same thing, except now you have to do that one more time, the, sorry, A intersection F, because now you want A union F, which is all of these guys, but if you add up these two numbers, then you've got to take out that 79 twice. The other way you could do it is just 25, 514, 39, and 300, and leave that out. So this is the same as A union F take away um, a intersection F. I think it's called an exclusive or. So this is an or statement. And then exclusive means you exclude uh, the things that are in both of them. Okay, so that's kind of might give you a little bit of an idea on how to do it. The other thing you could do, uh, I saw the symbol there, just to make sure you understand that, is this. And that means complement or opposite of. So if I were to look at, say, let's not do F. We've already done enough F. Let's do E uh, complement. Now you'll notice here's E and here's F and here's G. E complement means everything but the E. So E complement would be these guys. And if you had E complement, say, intersection C, then you would take C, and instead of doing this, this is C intersect E, because that's where C, this guy, intersects E, this guy, and they intersect right in here. Well, this is then, if this is E, E complement, 
is over here. That's the rest of it. So C intersect E complement would be these two guys put together. Anyway, that should help us. Let's go back to your images and see if I can direct you a little bit more to see what's going on. So when you say how many people read one to five books in the last year, so that's column B, and were interviewed in 2005, so that would be this 38, but you would, you would see it as B intersection G. So, um, yeah. Now this is and, so that's an intersection. Now how many people read one to five books in the last year? or were interviewed in 2005. So you have all of this, or you could be any of these. So you've got 100 people that were interviewed in 2005, and then B is 69. So if you took those two and added them together, that would give it to you. But you've doubled, you've counted this twice now. So you'd have to subtract 38. So 131 would be there. So here, the number in A union B, so you'd take all in A and all in B, that's 34 plus 69, and you have to intersect it with H primed. Now H, if you intersected it with H, it would be intersecting this 18 and 31, because you've got A and B put together, intersected with H would be 18 and 31, but you don't want that, you want the opposite of H, which is, in this case, just G. So there you go. So it'd be the 16 and the 38. That, I hope that kind of makes sense. Or D, take away E union H. So E union H would be all the numbers in this entire cross. And if you're taking all of D, take away uh, anything that was in this guy or that guy, you're left with 25. So, all right, let's see if we can look at that other picture. Okay, so here, again, B union G. Uh, let me see, where's B? B is down here. And notice this doesn't have totals, so that's kind of interesting. B union G. So that's taking all of this, 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 and this, plus anything in the G right there. Um, so you're doing the number of B plus the number of G, and that's kind of what you've written right here. That's that formula that I showed you on that other page. That's how you can get the B union G. But we only want, in this one, B intersection G which is only that guy right there, because that's the one where B's and G's cross. A circle plus C primed. So if you have C is right here, that means C primed is all of this down here. So the A circle plus, you have to do A, which is all of these guys, union it with C plus, which is all of this guy, and then take away anything that's the same. So it would be this one right here. So you're excluding anywhere that A intersects with that. So A intersects with that right here, and so you would then exclude that, and so it's A union with C primed, and take out the intersection. This one right here, let me see. E primed, so that would be this one, this one, not that guy or that guy, um, and then this one and this one. So E primed includes all of this and all of the bottom two. And you're going to intersect that with A union C. So A union C, you're taking all of A, which is all of this, and all of C. So imagine these is like roads. And A union C is all of that. Now we're going to take that and intersect it with E primed. Now the intersection is going to happen right uh, here and here and here and here. So you would add up those four numbers to get that one. Anyway, I hope that helps a little bit. A take away B union F. And if you have A take away that, then you're going to take anything that's in A, all of these numbers right here, take away anything that is in that road or that road. Well, it's going to take away nothing, so that's going to be just adding those up. Anyway, hope that helps. If it doesn't, send me an email back, and I'll try to do some more explanation. I'll try to be a little bit more timely, but with the general conference this weekend, I'm not sure I'll be able to. Thanks a lot. Good luck.